And so it's time that we properly introduce this new function that we've just discovered called the parabola. How do we know when something is a parabola? It's whenever you see this x squared, okay? Because we, we saw in previous videos what that x squared does. And so anytime you see that x squared, you're going to have a graph that's going to do this or this, and it's going to move upwards and downwards. And so just a little bit more on the different parts. We said that if this number in front of the x squared is positive, then the graph smiles. It's happy. And then what does this plus 6 do to the graph? Well, it moves it six places upwards. And so that graph would look something like this. I'm just doing a rough sketch. It would be happy and it would be moved six places up. This one over here, well, because it's negative in the front, it's sad. And the plus 6 means that it's moved six places up. So it's going to be a sad graph that has also moved six places up. So something like that. And then this one over here, we can't say that it's moved eight places up. Why? because it's not written in standard form. The y is not by itself. So we have to get the y alone first by dividing everything by two like that. And so we see that this number in the front is positive. So it's a happy graph and it's moved four places upwards. And so it's gonna move upwards and it's happy. So it's something like that. Now, is there a major difference between what the number in the front of the x squared actually is? Yes, it does, but it's not something that you need to worry about. But what it does do is the bigger the, you, the bigger you make that number, the more narrow the graph becomes. So it goes from being something like this to being something like that, and then it can go even more narrow like that. So the larger that number, the more narrow the graph becomes, but that's not something that they're gonna really test in class, not even next year or the year after. Here I've got three parabolas that were generated on Excel. Unfortunately, I couldn't discover how to write the equation as to the power of two. They don't seem to have that feature available. So this blue graph is y equals x squared. The orangey red one is y equals to x squared plus two. And the gray graph is y equals to x squared minus two. So let's go and have a look at each of those. So we can see that all three of those graphs are positive in front of the x squared. You, you know there's an imaginary one there. And that's why all three of these graphs are smiling. The blue graph does not have a plus anything at the end, which means that it goes right through the middle at 0, 0, and there it is. The orange graph has a plus 2, which means it's moved two places upwards, and there it is over there. And the gray one is minus 2, and so it's moved two places down. And here we have two more parabolas where the blue one is y equals to x squared and the red one is y equals to negative x squared. And so both of them, they both don't have a plus anything at the end and so they both go through the zero point. But the red one, sorry, I keep, there we go, the red one has a negative in the front of its x squared which turns it into a sad graph and you can see that that red one is a sad graph, it's upside down. Okay, so that's the end of this video. Just in summary, we have a new equation called a parabola, which takes on the form y equals to, now what most, most teachers are going to use, ax squared plus q, whereas with the straight line we used mx plus c. It doesn't really matter what letters you use. I mean, it wouldn't be wrong to say wx plus k, as long as you know what each letter stands for. So this w would be the gradient, and that k would be the y-intercept. This number in the front, which is A, tells us if it's happy or sad. And then the Q tells us if it's moved upwards or downwards. But don't worry too much about the Q and the A. That's not the important part. You could even write it as Rx squared plus T. It doesn't actually matter. It's just I've seen what most teachers and most textbooks use. But you just need to know what those different letters use. So from now on, when you think of a straight line, you think of it as y equals to mx plus c or wx plus k, whatever you want. And then as long as it's only got an x like that, whereas if it's a parabola, you can use some type of formula like this, where the x is to the power of 2. That's the important part.